Thousands of passengers go through Indianapolis International Airport every month, but that all came to a standstill almost a year ago. Yeah, the Transportation Security Administration said an air marshal misplaced a weapon. IT mate Stephanie Zeppelin found out exactly what happened that day. Stephanie? Mike Brook, the TSA would not tell us much at the time of the incident, so we filed a federal Freedom of Information request. After months of waiting, we have details about what exactly happened. No one likes a flight delay, and on October 10th last year, all travel at Indianapolis International came to a halt. At the time, we knew very little about why. The Transportation Security Administration said it was, quote, conducting screening at departure gates at Indianapolis International Airport after a federal air marshal misplaced a weapon. TSA would not answer follow-up questions, so IT mate made a request for the official report. The report reveals a federal air marshal was on the job at Indianapolis International Airport. Just before 1 p.m. on October 10th, he realized he'd left his duty weapon in the toilet stall on the concourse restroom. But when he went back to get it, it was gone. At the time this report was filed, the gun had not been found. IT mate brought this to the attention of U.S. Representative Andre Carson. Carson sits on the Transportation Committee and the airport is in his district. He's also a former law enforcement officer who carried a gun. I know when, for the agency I used to work for, um, the Indiana State Excise Police and other agencies, uh, misplacing your firearm um, in a public venue uh, could be cause for suspension, um, termination, or at the very least a severe write-up. TSA would not tell us what happened in this case because it's a personnel matter. We spoke with a current air marshal on the phone and asked what the punishment might be. He said air marshals are punished differently even when they make the same mistake. We know that the air marshals have a very high attrition rate. Uh, they have a very high burnout rate and, and, and many of the air marshals who have been tasked with being detailed to, to multiple flights uh, within a week's time can burn out quite quickly. The marshal said all of that, attrition, burnout, and exhaustion, can lead to careless errors. But we do know that uh, something has to be done so that this isn't an ongoing situation. TSA told IT mate in a statement, quote, TSA does take prompt and appropriate action when allegations of misconduct are substantiated. In this case, TSA worked with local officials and were able to recover the firearm. TSA told IT mate there were no other air marshals that lost their gun or misplaced a weapon at Indianapolis International Airport between 2007 and May of 2018. Interesting. So how often does this happen at other airports? So that was included in our FOIA request. It revealed that on that same day it happened at IND on October the 5th, 2017, 32 federal air marshals wow. misplaced their duty weapons. Wow. More than we would like for sure. Definitely. Okay. Stephanie, thanks.